Peterson. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Tackle made around the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. And he's taken down at the 43. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. Man, oh, what a hit. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 47. Black five, black five. Green 15. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Tries to buy some time. Brought down around the 43 yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. From the 43 yard line, first down. He's scrambling, keeps the ball, and he could score. He's at the 20, and he's finally shoved out at the 16. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. it out to maybe the 13 yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 13 yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine play, 75 yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7 0. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. It's second and ten. Ball on the 26. Got an opening. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. Back 
tackle after a decent run up the gut. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. 7-0, Hokie. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Hands it to the back, and he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 43. Here they come. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Walker was the intended receiver on the play, and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Bowling is waiting for the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Virginia Tech up seven points. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 39. from their own 39-yard line. First down. Peterson gets a carry right side at the corner, and they push him out around the 46-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Gains about five yards on the run. Second and five. Ball on the 41. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. Black five, black five, three, nine. Makes the first down catch. Tackle at the 26. So you got it. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. Virginia Tech is up seven. Down four. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. He's going to try and scramble, and they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Whoa, get ready, get ready. 
It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. He tackles him for a loss. I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. Here's the 11th play of the drive. job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play it's fourth down so the kicking team is on the field they'll try for three virginia tech is up by a touchdown kicks away and it's good everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff Howell fields it at the two. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Alabama's going to take their first time out of the half. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Neal picks up about seven yards on the run. Alabama will take their second time out of the half. Close to being intercepted. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They'll bring him down at the 48. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From the 48-yard line, second down. He heaves it deep. Through his hands. Sanders, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Tight right, tight right, tight right. Go out there, check the outs out there. Three down, three down. Let's go. Go Going deep. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. Wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he converts the extra point. probably just going to squib this kick. I don't think they want to see the return man create lightning before halftime. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Virginia Tech holds a field goal lead. And they make the stop at the 34. 
So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. To return. Howell fields it at the one. He's to the 20. At the 30. Across midfield. And they finally bring him down at the 44-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. From their own 37-yard line, first down. They get nice yardage on that run. Gain of five on the play. That'll make it second and four. Nice run, and he's brought down. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48 yard line. Zips it to the tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Virginia Tech has a three-point lead. Handoff brought down around the 44-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackled at about the 41. Game of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Mike check, 33. 33. Go, kill, kill. Good six yards there by the halfback on the toss play. That'll bring up second and three. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's taken down the 39-yard line. Oh, the loss of four yards on the play. That makes it third and seven. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Murphy looking to knock one inside the 20 here on this punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is we still have such a close game despite how well they play. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made at the 31. First and 10. Ball on the 31. Taken down around the 41 yard line. Fires it quickly. 
Incomplete pass. So with one quarter remaining, Virginia Tech in front, 10-7. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Just under three to go in regulation. Runs outside for a nice game. Neal gets seven yards on the play. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. And he just gets rid of it. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Quickly, and he's got his man, and he's tackled at the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. This is the ninth play of this drive. They'll get him for a loss. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 16-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Fourth and long here after the sack. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Stevenson gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? Throws it in a hurry. And they'll bring him down behind the line.
Virginia Tech is going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. man but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage that's a two-yard loss really they just had nowhere to go after the catch this looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone he throws it this one's intercepted it's the junior safety we're going to overtime That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. First and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Shows some moves, and he's in. Well, that's how you want to start off an overtime period, to put the touchdown on the board and put the pressure now on them. They know they've got to match this touchdown if they want to stay alive. And he adds the extra point. From the 25-yard line, first down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Second and ten. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Fires that quickly, incomplete. The pass falls incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. the 17 so the offense fails to pick up the first down makes a shot into the end zone touchdown So with their backs against the wall, they find a way. Get ready for another overtime, folks. There is nothing more exciting than watching four-down football in overtime. What a game today. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. They bring him down. And it seemed like they had no problem getting to the quarterback on that play. Great call by the defensive coordinator to call the blitz. It left the defensive lineman free to get to the quarterback. Go! <laughs> 
He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. From the 38-yard line, third down. Here's a quick throw. Incomplete pass. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. Fourth down. He rifles it to the left. Incomplete, and they'll turn it over. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. That'll be a gain of three yards. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. This has been one of those games where everything seems to hang in the balance on each play. Whatever the outcome is, we'll remember this one for a long time. From the 25-yard line, first down. They'll make the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. So we'll be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Intercepted. First and ten. Ball on the twenty five yard line. Flushed and they got him. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Make the stop at the 11. That makes it first and 10. From the 11 yard line, it's first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. He's on the run, and he's leveled at the 13-yard line.
from the 13-yard line. Third down. Pass, touchdown. Boy, a sensational finish. And tons and tons of credit to the defenders for keeping them off the board on that first series. These guys look loose and ready to grab this one, and that's exactly what they did. Alabama staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.